Hey everyone, Gigi Ren here, and I'm going to show you about 10 minutes of gameplay footage from Darksiders Genesis. This is a new game from Airship Syndicate and published by THQ Nordic. If you know the Darksiders series, then you know the stories behind the Four Horsemen. In the first Darksiders, we were introduced to War. In the second game, we played his brother Death. And the third game, just released in 2018, we played their sister Fury. In this new game, we are able to play as Strife. In starting up the game, we see the two main characters of the story. We have War, who is voiced by Liam O'Brien, and Strife, who is voiced by Phil Lamar. The story is set before the events of the first Darksiders, so the apocalypse hasn't happened yet. Uh, this is just Strife and his brother going on console business. Um, we don't know much about Strife at this point, even though he did make an appearance in Darksiders 3. So this is really his game and getting to know this particular character. And you can kind of see between this exchange between War and Strife, there are different personalities kind of coming through. War is about his duty, about serving the console, about doing what they ask him to do. Strife, on the other hand, will do what the council asks, but he also wants to make sure that they're taken care of as well uh, it, in case they do go up against this, you know, overpowered demon lord that, uh, that they've heard about. So, you know, he is all about serving the council, but he will also look out for himself. It's kind of interesting because his mannerisms kind of remind me of Cade Six in just the way he talks and the way he moves and kind of how he handles himself. So that's kind of a <laughs> kind of an exciting uh, it's kind of an exciting character trait for me because uh, I'm a big fan of Cade Six from the Destiny series. But as you can see, this game is different than the other Darksiders games. This is a top-down, it's still very much a hack and slash game, but it is a top-down perspective, uh, which is different than the other three Devastators games that we've seen. The combat, the movement mechanics, all of that is very much the same. Uh, characters can wall run, they can jump from pillar to pillar. Uh, you will see ghost hooks in this game, and in this demo you will see it in just uh, just a little bit. But the nice thing about this game, which I was having a really a lot of fun with as I was doing this demo, uh, was the fact that you can switch between strife and war at any at any point uh, during your gameplay. As you can see right now, I'm war and I'm jumping, I'm doing my thing, jumping from pillar to pillar, and his strikes and the way he, you know, approaches enemies is the same as I remember him in Darksiders. Um, he does have his, you know, he does have Chaos Eater, so he's able to do a lot of, you know, a lot of quick strikes with his sword. And he does have a really, you know, that familiar finishing move. And then here I switch back into Strife. And Strife it plays much differently than War, whereas War is kind of like a heavy feeling character. He kind of lumbers around, he has his big sword, you know, his enhancements are related to you know very sword based maneuvers whereas strife is very acrobatic so in that way he kind of reminds me of death from darksiders 2 a lot of bouncing around a lot of acrobatic movements and his finishing move which is a lot of fun he kind of bounces off of you know he kicks himself off of enemies and then shoots him point blank with his two guns mercy and redemption so depending on how you like to play you know you can be of the more acrobatic strife character or you can go in uh, with the heavy hitting war character but some i would imagine that in some instances you will prefer one character over the other depending on what kind of battle you're in for instance strife is probably good with you know large groups of enemies because he can kind of you know kind of roll out and jump out of out of battle with with the whole group of care you know with a whole group of uh enemies coming at you whereas war will you know can probably pummel 
you know, smaller groups of characters or a single or a single enemy. Either way, they're both fun to play. So it's just finding which one you like to roll with. Of course, I chose Strife for most of this demo because he is the new character in this game. You can kind of see him uh, doing his thing here in in this area of the map. And it's important, speaking of the map, it's important to be able to go and explore and, you know, look everywhere in these maps because you can find things like this boatman's coin, uh, you know, the crates and barrels that you see are also completely breakable, so it's always important to explore as much as you can in any, in any area that you're in. As for what the boatman's coins do, I'm not entirely sure yet. I assume that you're going to meet up with the boatman at some point and he will reward you perhaps with those coins, whether it's upping your abilities or it's for travel or something along those lines. In this demo, didn't really get a chance to meet the boatman, but I'm sure those coins are going to be very important uh, as you move along in this game. Here again, switching back to war. He's kind of lumbering around because he's a war and he's destroying everything in his path. And you'll find different pieces as well, like this legion piece. You'll find a rastone piece. Um, those I, I know will probably be very important in this game as well. What they're used for, again, still not sure because we didn't, I didn't get too far in the demo to be able to use. Um, a lot of these coins and pieces that I found. So here's the map. The map is very simple. It tells you where you're at, but also highlights points of interest, particularly chests. So here's a chest. There are chests all over the place that you can open up. There's goodies in them, so make sure that you open all the chests that you possibly can find. <laughs> because those, those are important, just like any other Darksiders game. And here is War doing his thing, taking down this much larger group of enemies as they're coming as they're coming at me. Because this is a demo, I did get a little stuck in this snow. Uh, you can kind of see that I'm kind of up to my head in snow, but it doesn't stop me from being able to take down these enemies and switching to strife. Um, to do more of a ranged attack against a lot of these enemies. And so as I'm here in the snow, trying to figure out how to get out of it because I couldn't jump out of the snow, I thought the only possible way would be to turn into my chaos form. And yes, there is a chaos form for Strife, and there he is. He's a big, imposing demon and he completely wrecked all of those enemies so you know use your chaos form sparingly but of course because it, it's a very short-lived uh short-lived chaos form but super useful if you get stuck in snow <laughs> also super useful if you're going up against um big enemies or big bosses that are coming towards you so make sure to, to you know keep an eye on uh Keep an eye on your chaos form and whenever you're able to use it, use it when you can. So you can see combat is very fluid in this game, uh, especially when you're able to switch between strife and war. Uh, the environments in this game are absolutely lovely. And just the colors, just being able to move around, everything is very responsive and there's enemies all over the place. So a lot of people have been comparing this game to Diablo, of course. It's a hack and slash, it's a dungeon crawler. It has that dungeon crawler feel, but it is, it is a Darksiders game. And you can see the ghost hook right there. That'll help me get across that big, that big uh, open area. And yes, it does feel like Diablo, but this is Darksiders. The mechanics are everything Darksiders, the characters, the movements, the different enhancements. So that that's kind of where the comparisons end for me. And uh, here is the last boss uh, that I went up against. And you can see Strife dropping down those Caltrops to kind of get out of the way. 
And he also has another special move, which is Shadow Clone, that will draw up a, that will call up a Shadow Clone of himself. So that's pretty much it. That was the demo that I played. It was a lot of fun. That was the second demo I played because I enjoyed it so much. Um, and if you like Darksiders, this is definitely a game to check out when there is a demo available. Um, so if you, I hope you enjoyed this quick video about Darksiders Genesis. Again, it was an incredibly fun game to play and I can't wait to play the demo. I can't wait to play this game when it comes out. There hasn't been a release date yet, but it will be soon. It will be in 2019, I believe. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to check out the demo. Hopefully you will enjoy the game as much as I did. And uh, I will be back with another video.